Brilliant. Uh, Steve McGoffin, first of all, many congratulations. Ten wickets in the match, but it, it, it's been pretty tough out there. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, um, well, you know, from a bowling point of view, the conditions today were pretty awful, really, with that breeze. It was, uh, it was more, more than a breeze, really, so it was... Uh, that was tough work for all of us. There was obviously a, a, a pretty tough end here down at the pavilion that, that uh, guys had to put in some some hard yards and a bit of a shift on. So, it, you know, it, we bought, we did okay. Um, you know, there's obviously a decent partnership going on again here at the end. It's the same as happened in the first inning. So we've got to try and come back tomorrow and break that as quick as we can and get on with batting. Chris Nash changed you around to the Radcliffe Road. And was that all about the win, Steve? Pretty much, yeah. It was obviously we wanted to... Obviously, have one end that was you know, trying trying to sort of defend from and attack from the other end, really, and we felt that that was probably the end that was going to suit me best, um, along with CJ for, for the first part of the of the innings with the new ball. So that, that's where that decision came from, and you know went quite well at the start. So um, yeah, so that's, that's that's why that happened. So. Tell us a little bit about the pitch because it's giving a bit of assistance to the seamers. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's there's still you know there's still balls in there. That particularly with a new ball, it's it's definitely a new ball wicket. As you know, again that partnership at the end there showed when the ball got a bit older, it did make it look a little bit easier to bat. There's still there's still some decent balls in there if you if you group it quite well. So um, you know we, we started the game well with the new ball, um, and that'll be a real crucial time for us when we bat as well. We're going to have to try and get the shine off that ball and uh, and and hopefully set ourselves up a run chase and take the game as deep as we can. It's like good to see you getting 10 wickets, and it seems like you've bowled without a bit of luck sometimes this season as well. Yeah, well, to be honest, I haven't quite felt at, at, at my best this year, really. So, so far, there's, there's been patches where I've, I've felt OK and others where I probably haven't, uh, you know, taken the wickets at times where I'm, I'm kind of used to taking up front with the new ball. So that was really pleasing with this game to be able to have impact straight up with the new ball and, and uh, you know, try to set up the innings from, from our point of view. Uh, and then, you know, to come back up and get the first five for the year is very pleasing and, and another 10 for which is really good. And how difficult has it been? Because there's a lot of injuries in the fast bowling department, so even a bit of an experience as well. Have you felt you've sort of had to carry the attack to a certain degree? Oh, look, injuries you can't do much about, but uh, in the last couple of games, obviously, we've got CJ back. He's a test bowler, which has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, Hobbs, he's going well. He's learning every time he goes out there and plays. And obviously, you know, big, big fine in Ollie Robinson. He's been, he's been fantastic so far. So, um, you know, we can't do anything about the guys who, are, who, who aren't on the side at the moment. They've got to just work hard and get themselves fit. Um, you know, but when we do have a full stock of fast bowlers, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, a, it's a pretty good looking list, really, when you think we've still got um, you know, Shazad, Anion to come back, uh, Hatchet, Tamar Mills. So, you know, if we can get those guys all back on the park as quick as we can, going deep into the season, hopefully it'll, um, you know, pay benefit for us. And I've seen John Lewis giving a lot of advice to the younger bowlers. Is he still giving you advice, Stephen, in your age and your career? Yeah, he does, yeah. We, uh, to be honest, this last week we've, we've spent a lot of time together just to have a chat about a few different things, and uh, which, you know, again, like I said, it's, it's been pleasing that, that some of that stuff's come off in this game, and uh, hopefully he's pretty happy about it as well. Final word, how, how do you see this game panning out? Because that last wicket part suggests that maybe batting is getting a little easier? Like I said, it's the, it's the new ball, isn't it? So if we can get uh, get through that period and get, the, get you know get that shine off the ball and get sort of 30-odd 30, 30 overs into the innings without too much damage, then um, then we can we can look to set something up. Like I said, if we can take the game as deep as we can, um, we've got to start with the three wickets again tomorrow. So we've got to break this partnership and, and tidy up the tail and, and get batting. Steve, thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Just stop that.